Sherry Smith, Dr. Sherry Smith said the magic word when she walked in the studio. She's with Children's Hospital, director of uh, critical care. And I said, I need you. I need you. And she said, ah, you don't need me. I said, oh, yeah. If we're picking this morning, do you need another blabbermouth talk show host or a director of critical care? You get in first. I promise you that. We need you. But then you said the magic word. Chocolate. <laughs> Seth said she has chocolate, man. She has chocolate. Always. She's the supplier at the hospital. I, I love am. it. Thank you for being here today. And uh, as we're supporting uh, Children's Hospital as they are working on their major expansion. And uh, every week you've been uh, given the opportunity to meet some of the great people that make Children's Hospital great. Children's Hospital, uh, we do have facilities. See how I said we. We, we do have facilities, but it really is beyond the facilities. All the facilities, all of the tools of the trade, as it were, are placed in the hands of people so that they can care for people. This business is about people. It's about children. And uh, Sherry Smith is one of those people that is in love with her work, in love with chocolate, and in love with uh, taking care of young people. Welcome to the broadcast. Thank you very much. Critical care, what's your job? I have the uh, pleasure to oversee the emergency department, the neonatal intensive care unit, the pediatric intensive care unit, and the transport services. And we also have the um, pediatric intensive care unit at UT Hospital. So all of the kids who are the sickest of the sick in Knoxville are in one of my units. All right, so you, you should know as you're listening this morning, you just heard somebody say, I have the pleasure to do this work. For somebody to be delighted to help the sickest of the sick is a big deal. But then also, you have to be delighted because you get to see miracles on a regular basis. Absolutely. it's Nothing makes me happier than to see one of my NICU graduates come back. They send me uh, invitations to their weddings, invitations to their prom. They send me prom pictures. I've been doing this a long time. No way. You can't be over 35. Yeah, I love uh, you. <laughs> eight, uh, 8.54 on the Triple H Morning Show. Talk about the need for the expansion and, and why you need more tools so that you can serve more people. Be glad to. What we would love to do, um, what we do on a daily basis is step into the lives of people who are experiencing, for the most part, the worst thing that's ever happened to them. And what we've got to realize as we approach those people is that we're being invited into their lives, not by choice, but because we have their most precious possession with us. And being able to meet with those families and talk to those families about the things that are going on with their child needs to have a place where you can be private. And what we've what we're about to get when we do this new NICU is that ability. We're actually going to have 60 private rooms. And I remember one time when I was talking to a dad, he had his uh, baby girl in there, was his first child, and he was scared to death. He was looking at me and asking me with his eyes questions he wasn't asking with his mouth. Um, He was actually asking what the oxygen hood on top of her head was. And I was explaining to him, I was explaining to him that you and I breathe 21% oxygen and your baby right now is needing 45% oxygen. And uh, you looked at me, Halloran, and you said, I just hope she's going to be okay. Because I was actually a nurse that took care of your little baby girl. So many years ago, 20 years ago, I was actually a bedside nurse in the NICU. And I had longer blonde hair then and blonder hair then, and I was a lot skinnier then. (laughs) Wow. But yes, you were one of those daddies. So you know very well how and why we need to have some private rooms in there. Wow. That's just, uh, that is... (laughs) Ladies and gentlemen, I, we just had a moment on the radio. <laughs> so when my daughter was in the in the NICU. She was in the NICU, and I was a bedside nurse in the NICU, and I had the pleasure of caring for your baby, Hallie, when she was in there. And That's, wow. 
In fact, I've got a. Take a bear. look at that picture. Oh my goodness! Have there you seen you Hallie? No, I have seen her, not in person. I want to see her in person. You're going to have to bring her to me. I will and do let that. us talk. I have a bear for her here, though. Wow, man. Wow. This is for you to take to Hallie. It's a NICU graduate bear from the March of Dimes. I'm on the board of directors, so I am able to get some of those. And, of course, because I do babies all the time, I talk about babies everywhere I go. And Hallie was one of my patients, and you were one of my daddies. Thank you. You're very welcome. Thank you. I, I need a second. <laughs> I just I need to catch my breath right now. You, you because you you could have, well I guess you would have an idea of what what your daughter means to you and absolutely we do this every day. That's my job. That's why I love what I do. And that smile you've got on it, your listeners can't see. That's why I do what I do. Thank you. Seth, Dude, how, I'm kind of messed up for you right <laughs> now, to be honest with you. The, I am. The, the crazy thing is, you know, when when your when your baby's two pounds, eleven ounces, mm -hmm. and you don't know what's what's coming next, nor mm -hmm. do you know the potential of that child, mm -hmm. right? I'm telling you, my daughter is something special. Absolutely. I mean, she. If any of you ever have a chance to meet her, you will know in five seconds. You're like you're in the presence of somebody, and I know I'm a proud papa. Of course, you are. But I'm telling you, this it's different than normal. It's not like, oh, what, what a nice. There's something uniquely special about this young lady. And I wouldn't know that joy if you guys hadn't take, taken such excellent care of her. Absolutely. Wow. All right. Uh, Seth, how do we help you this week? You know, we're raising money for the new building. And just like Sherry said, Everybody's got a story. There are more than 600 stories just like that every year that come out of the NICU. So we're helping families all over East Tennessee. What we need right now is for people to get on our website, etch.com, or call 525-GIVE. Make a donation to this new expansion. We're just going to be able to help more and more families with this community support. And it is the community's hospital. It's not our hospital. It belongs to you. It belongs to all those kids that we help. Yeah. We're going to do that. All right, uh, Sherry Smith. <laughs> Folks, I got to get, get off the air now for a minute. I got to give this lady a really big hug, <laughs> right? So uh, thank you for coming by today. Thank you Absolutely. for having us. Triple H Morning Show.